Hello everyone, Slazas here! Ever since bodysuit features were released, lots of people are getting creative. Some of them use bodysuit as armor, accessories, clothes, and best of all, you can create your own very chubby viewer model. Without further ado, let's start this video. Let's start with body textures. Now, if you have your own body textures that you color yourself, or even the body texture that you download from good website, import it at bodysuit layer instead in body editor since these two have the same template. Next, we're going to adjust the bodysuit parameter. So, here's the magic start. We are going to make the bodysuit expand by 65, like this 65. But there's a sharper color bone right here. So we don't need a sharper color bone in our body because we don't need them. So you can just soften the color bone around around this value right here, around this number. There we go. Not to not to sharper anymore, eh? Okay, next, we're adding negative values in increase both from wrist and ankle by negative 60. And then we're going to increase the both from ankle by 100. Of maximize the value, we're going to adding a negative in, this, in front of this number. Okay, shoulder puff 1 is around 12. Okay, well, shoulder puff 2 should be around 25. Can give you all of this figure. It's fine if you don't want to change your body shape later on, but I'm adding value of flat and torso by a hundred. I mean, you can even increase the value however you want, but just be careful if you see a bump right here because it doesn't look that great when you see from the front view. For fingers, I will increase the bulk, but instead of increasing it, we will adding a minus. So 40 and adding negative. 41 is very decent too. So 40, 40, negative 41 and then press enter. There we go. You can still adjust the body parameters in the body editor, even without the body texture itself. Let's start with the head by decreasing the head size by 0.026. Next we're going to head width but this time we're going to increase the head width by adding 1.5. Alright, next we're going to go to shoulder width. I will increase the shoulder width size by 0.5. Um, okay, that's, that's pretty good, pretty good. Alright, next we're going to chest size right here. So I will increase them around 0 0.480. Okay, I think that that's really big enough. Alright, next we're going to go to chest position right here because our chest right now looks a little bit, uh, how should I say this? It's not natural. So for the chest position Y, we're going to decrease them by maybe maximize one because our chest shape it follow the gravity <laughs> so i think this is good all right next we're going to go to chest split for chest split maybe i want them to be around around zero point okay zero point two it looks pretty good for online we're going to go to zero point seven something like that so maybe you can decrease them a bit or you can even make them a little bit high for me i want to decrease them around zero point five negative zero point five i think this looks good for the hand size we're going to decrease them around what 0.1 okay for torso length maybe we can increase them a little bit okay, i don't want to make them too tall but i don't want to make them uh, too short either so maybe like in between so for torso length 0 0.8 maybe because i want to make a chubby girl at the same time i won't make the uh, model look tall like me now for the waist weight maybe we can increase them to max by uh, one but you can even adding a value by maybe two Alright, hips don't lie. You can skip this part since this is just an optional step to adjust the face parameter to fit the chubby appearance. Let's start with the eyes. So for the eyes, I want to increase them by uh, 0 0.4 and be careful with the clipping right here. There might be a little bit clipping right there if you maximize the value. So you can just in decrease it a little bit around 0 0.4 something like that and then we're going to go to eye size y for eye size y we can going to increase them a little bit and don't forget if you maximize too much there might be clipping happen and we don't want that for our chibi model so for eye size maybe 0 0.0.4 
okay that looks good all right next we go to eyes position of y i position for y is around i will increase them around point to three or maybe even um same height as our ears right here okay uh that looks that looks that looks um pretty decent there okay all right next we're going to eye position x so we're going to adjust them maybe around 0 0.2 and careful with the clipping there careful with the clipping there Okay, I think that's good enough. Okay, so I resize X is around 0 0.3. Okay, that's too much, just too much. Okay, that looks decent. Okay, that's pretty. Alright, next we're going to increase the iris size Y by 0 0.4. Okay. Okay, I think that's good enough. Now, people might get confused with these two nose sizes. These two are in different parameters with the same name. The first nose size here is actually the position of your nose. Do you want to go forward or backward? This is the view from above. So, just increase the nose size right here. It's just like increase the nose shape. So, we need to make our nose a bit forward by 0 0.09 like I said. Okay, and then we're going to increase the nose width by a hundred next we're going to go to the nose the position of y when we're going to increase them around 0 0.6 there we go we're going to increase the nose size around this area right here so we're going instead of maximize the nose size we're going to adding value of two maybe around two yes good enough next we're going to go to the nose bridge prominence around around this area right here now nose bridge prominence we're going to increase them by a hundred and five one point five all right there we go next we're going to increase the nose bridge curve right here so we're going to increase them by zero point okay this is how nose bridge curve around zero point zero Okay, I think it's good enough. So we're going to decrease the ear size by negative one. Okay, it's normal. Alright, next we're going to increase the ear prominence by 0 0.29. Perhaps 0. Point. Okay, not not too not too close to, to our head. Um in between, in between ear prominence 0 point two. There we go. Alright, next we're going to go to rounded ears like this. We're going to make this the curve of our ears uh, disappear a little bit. So we're going to rounded ears, but instead of maximize them, we're going to adding a negative and adding a value to so 0 0.2. Okay. There we go. Next, we're going to go to sunken cheeks. You can see this area right here. Oh, sunken cheeks around 7, 0 0.7. It helps. Okay, there we go. For chin roundness, we're going to maximize it till 1. There we go. Looks so cute. For chin position, we're going to make the jawline drop down a bit by 1. And next, we're going to go to chin length right here. The chin length right here. I don't know, this one looks so pretty good. So for chin length is 0 0.369. For chin tip position Z, we're going to improve them a little bit forward. Maybe around um yeah, this one's good. A 0 0.150. We're going to go to chin width again, but this time we're going to increase the chin width by 0. Four. Okay, this is good enough. And last time, we're going to increase the jaw angle. So for jaw angle, we're going to increase them. Okay, you can't see from this view, the front view. From the side view, you can see them really clearly. The this check right here. Okay, for jaw line right here, I want them to make it a bit, a uh, bit rounder. And there's no shape around this one because we want to make a chubby model. Okay, I think this is good enough. It's 0 0.982. There we go. You have not only a chubby body, but you acquired a chubby face too. Now, now, time to talk about the cons of using a bodysuit. See the problems? Right now, I'm using a mini t-shirt and pencil skirt. I try to maximize the volume, but these two templates right here have few or none option at all. The only outfits that fit this bodysuit are the bodysuit itself and long coat. 
points. Why is the shading of the body is different from the face shading? You'll have to remember that even if you apply body textures to a bodysuit, it's still in categories outfit. So to counter it, you just need to turn off the shading right here. Turn off the shading right here. Wait for shading hotness. Um, get an off as well. There is no hair here, but I still want to turn it off. And then decrease the shading hardness right here. And there we go. Sometimes Vroid Studio body proportion is not perfect itself, especially the breast area and stomach area right here. I did try to make the breast look more natural instead of looking like an egg shape. You can refer to any reference of how breast shapes look, but I can assure you our breasts are not like that in real life. Life, especially those who are chubby body when you look at the front view you see the white torso right here which emphasize the chubby shape but if you see from the right side right here it looks flat usually for chubby body shape this area right here around below our stomach there's a lot of fats right here especially this watch area right here the only way to fix this weird model is to import them to blender and use a sculpting brush to shape the body unfortunately I don't have any example to show how it works since I myself am not familiar with blender yet as you can see here there is a clipping on our long cut right here like look there's a clipping right here already not only that but also the skirt too since we are using bodysuit as skin textures you have to erase part of the visible skin on the outfit instead of a skin mask if you made a skirt from long coat templates you will see a weird bump right here that's because i expand the waist width and it follows the long coat shape right here so if you want to make a longer skirt just reduce the waist width around here if you want to make a skirt above the knee you don't need to reduce the waist width i know that i've rarely uploaded any videos for the past months and i did try to upload at least one video for one week unfortunately due to responsibility i have in real life i can't do that and i wish i could but i can't but it doesn't mean i abandoned my channel like come on man i'm almost reaching 4k here instead i did some work behind the scenes and I'm still taking a break right now. Yes, I'm announcing it right now. I've been taking a break for the past month without telling everyone. Because why should I tell everyone I'm taking a break? But I'm feeling good now. I'm working on my content at my own pace. I feel relaxed. I don't want to rush uploading my videos like I did used to. It makes my videos content look a bit bland. Like which made me upload my video because of the quantity rather than the quality the video itself. Or even I'm uploading the video because of my viewers so i decided to take my sweet time to work on my videos continued on some project that i keep delay at the same time i touch grass once in a while that's the video for today i hope this video is helpful you can check my other videos if you haven't watched it yet and i'll see you later bye bye